Hey Dave, it's spring. It's officially spring now. Well, it was yesterday. Tonight, yesterday was the first day of spring, actually. Man, it's sorry to hear. It really bums me out that you got sick on your time off. That still really sucks. Yes, the podcast is launched. A podcast can be a lot of work. It really depends on the kind of podcast that one is making. Like, I'm making a podcast where we have some questions, we have a couple segments, we have an intro, and a little thing at the beginning we do with my favorite uh, initialism actually, W-U-N-C-C-L-T, which I made a video about on here, because I thought that was a really, really good approach and lens since we're talking about habits and consistency. But it really depends on the kind of podcast you're making. Having a lot of guests on and all that research it takes to have questions ready for them and to make it like really interesting, that takes a lot of work, which is why I love the back and forth of two people on a podcast, because it prioritizes the people, but it also prioritizes the conversation and not so much of the content, like it's meant to be a good time and to think about things and to catch up but it's not meant to be like really information heavy one of the topics we had talked about motivation i've been thinking so much about whether you should like do something until it feels good then continue it or whether you should wait until you're in a mood and you have a good gut feeling to begin something because i've always heard the phrase motivations for amateurs and the idea that you should do something that brings you joy and is rewarding whether or not you feel a certain way about it but you know feeling and thinking and being these are all mixed and interwoven with each other. It's good to have like ways of doing things that are rewarding. You're talking about having something achieved during the day. I love to begin my day with something small that begins a good momentum that makes me feel good and like I've accomplished something even if it's small. That's a great way to begin the day rather than beginning with the absolute hardest possible thing that one could do at the beginning of the day. Sometimes it's good to build it up gradually. So in addition to that, I've been thinking so much about collaboration. I shared thoughts on the smallpox vaccine and the idea that it was invented and then 150 years after it was invented was the main time that the system for distribution that led to the eradication of the smallpox vaccine actually got started. Which makes me think about the importance of invention, but more importantly, the importance of systems and collaboration and how something begins as an idea but it takes communities and it takes attention and it takes earnestness to be able to build that idea and to make it into something. It takes people that believe in it and want to create the kind of change that it seeks to make in the world. Having like people interested in this and some questions and an audience that sort of is interested in the podcast from the start is interesting because I'm making it as a gift for those people. And that's really, really cool. The fact that an idea that you have is able to serve other people, whether they get something from it or it inspires conversation or thinking in them, having that start for the project, even though it is small, it has a direction, feels good. It brings a lot of joy and reward when people ask good questions, get something from it or made them think about something. That's awesome. That's what gifts should do, I guess. Collaboration and people serving an idea is really what brings that, that idea's value to life and makes it thrive. It's like being up to creative ruckuses in a few different ways and adding value and creating change and being a part of cool systems that are making change is cool. So that's what matters to me today. And if I can fit this in, here's a funny question. If you could pick like any metric to rate movies that are your favorite or video games that are your favorite or books that are your favorite, what would that be? That was something we discussed on the podcast. Like mine would probably be pizza or largemouth bass or something on the rating scale. Three largemouth bass out of five largemouth bass. What would that be for you? Just a fun question. I hope you're enjoying the Dave's view, like what you see in the day. Dave's view sounds like a review of the day from you. The light-soaked days are getting closer. Have a great Dave, and I'll see you on Thursday.